Hey everybody, happy 2012. It's Missy here. I just want to start by saying um, congratulations to everybody who's walking the spiritual path. You have taken the next step and are ready to advance. Um, some things that I have been told that are strongly advised for 2012, and strongly I mean you gotta do it. I'm sorry, but um, no more eating meats, no more smoking cigarettes, no more drinking alcohol, and stay away from things that are wrapped in aluminum because they're not good for you. They're not good for your light body, they're not good for your physical body, they're not good for any of that. So try to stay clean and pure for 2012. Um, detox is highly suggested, you know, um, vegetables and fruits are, should be the 90% of your diet, um, if you can. <laughs> um, crystals are very helpful nowadays. If you don't have a crystal, I suggest you get one. Um, it really doesn't matter which one because they all do good things, but if you have a specific preference to a crystal that you want. Do some research online and you can definitely find different types. I mean, I have tons of different crystals and they all do different things and they all benefit me differently and I love all of them in their own way because they all do something completely different. Like this is my Lumerian seed crystal and it's golden Lumerian seed crystal and it's rare and it helps me integrate and remember my past lives, it helps me with my Atlantean knowledge, it helps me remember a lot. Um, Spirit Amethyst has helped me with my dreams. Kainite helps you get aligned and grounded and cleared. You know, cool stuff like that. Um, this one I actually have no idea what it is. I found it at my grandfather's store. I used to think it was a smoky quartz, but now I look at smoky quartz and I'm a bit baffled. I'm a bit confused. I'm not too sure what it is. This is like peacock ore or something like that. It's really cool. It's a stone. Stibnite wand. Healing, master healing wand, you know. Um, I got this one for like, like 50 bucks at Mystical Bazaar in Arizona. I'm sure you could find them cheaper online. You know, they're great for healing energies, stuff like that. Um, oracle cards are great. You know, um, if you're suffering or if you don't know where to go or if you have a question about to ask the universe, instead of asking others, you can get some divine guidance with an oracle deck. Or if you want to, you know, go from noob to intermediate, you can start doing tarot, which I am starting to do so um if you don't want to if you're too lazy to do either of those or you don't feel the calling for it um you can ask me to do a reading and i'll be glad to do a reading for you um you know you can find all kinds of rocks with crystals and this is a rock that we found in sedona arizona um go to any rock store they'll have definitely have something for your preference there um and basically just Start getting into the spiritual community more. 2012 is all about community. <laughs> it's all about coming together. And we all have a common purpose. We all have a common goal now, and that is ascension. We are all trying to ascend away from the third dimension. Because these densities, these ways of living, don't suit our spiritual preference. We are advancing as um, beings, and we want an upgrade, basically. And, you know, we've spent years and years and lifetimes and lifetimes going through the spirit school, and now it's time for graduation, and that's what 2012 is. So, all of you guys who are walking the spiritual path, um, any advice? would be appreciated because everybody has something else to share, something different to share. Um, anything that you feel needs to be said in a video, send it to me and I'll definitely make a video to say it to people um, or just do it yourself. <laughs> um, there are have been a couple of videos that I've seen that would be um, super helpful for people and there's one about the princess of Japan definitely watch that one. It's a brand new video, like two days old. 
Um, she talks about 2012 and what's going to happen. Um, another one would be, let's see, I'm trying to think. I can't think right now. Anyways, so, um, you know, just continue to get educated and informed. That's the biggest thing. Um, an even bigger issue would be to stay in your heart so that more people can see you as an example. So basically, just be an example. I mean, it's harder for me because I'm younger, so people in you know, like, younger are more hard-headed, they, they want to be cool and think sin is in, you know, stuff like that, so, um, try to be on a level to where people will understand you, not to a level where people kind of get freaked out or annoyed, because when it comes to spirituality, people tend to tie it with religion, and religious people are nuts, so they think spiritual people are nuts, or they think, because I'm spiritual, I'm a hippie, so I'm, you know, gonna go, you know, you, stuff, ignorant stuff, and the ignorance is our only enemy now, and it should be like that, it shouldn't be towards your, your anger and your unsatisfaction thoughts shouldn't be towards people's at all, it should be towards the ignorance, you should think of ways to overcome the ignorance that is suitable for you and your friends and your family and stuff like that. But with that being said, I love you all. Namaste, and I will talk to you soon.